So, <clears throat> Belle finally had her calf and it all just went really well. And we're thankful for a great, um, healthy birth there. Little one, your name shall be Alan. Alan James. And they're, they're both doing really good. But uh, one thing that we didn't account for during that time is we never even thought about Teddy and maybe not being around any kind of birth. Um, we know that Teddy's been around a lot of different animals uh, before he came here. So he's always been very, very kind to animals around here. We've never had a problem. Uh, but what we ran into is that Teddy was incredibly protective of that calf immediately after it was born. Hey, come! See, our Great Pyrenees has never met a baby calf before. Teddy, come! Teddy! Just stay back here. Teddy, come! Teddy! Teddy! Come here! Teddy, come! Teddy, come! He's just trying to protect that baby. Teddy! 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 No! Come here, Teddy! Here, you stay. Teddy! Teddy! Teddy, no! Teddy! Teddy! No! Teddy, come! Teddy, no! Come here! Come here, buddy! Come here! Come here, sweets! Sit! Uh, he just went berserk on Belle, and so just, uh, just right away, we had to, we had to, um, it, it just was so unexpected that um, we didn't we didn't really know what to do. So what we did was uh, we tied him up uh, right away, and so that he he didn't have free reign of the farm like he normally does. Um, and then now what we're going to do is uh, got him on a leash here, and we're going to take him and introduce uh, the situation again, and just kind of make it a slow, a slower process rather than him um, just maintaining the whole place. He's, uh, he's basically right now restricted to the chicken coop area, uh, protecting those birds. But we do want him to, again, be able to be a part of the whole farm to uh, protect, I guess, all the animals uh, and, and do his job like he has been. So uh, we're going to take him in the crawl right now and just kind of see how that goes. We've got him on a leash, very controlled environment. And uh, so let's take him over there and see how it goes. Come on. We're, we're in the corral now. Um, Belle is right over there with her calf. And um, like I said, we, we've got the leash on. Teddy won't even look over there. So he, I think he, he relates that, that that was not a good situation uh, when the calf was born. And so we're just gonna kinda, we're just gonna kinda walk around the corral here a little bit and, and uh, try to get them to yeah, figure each other out a little bit. Yeah, so here's here's a little Cappy, and he's doing really well. This is Alan. Um, he's doing so good. Belle's um, just right on the other side of the feeder. You can't see her, but she's just right on the other side of the feeder. Teddy's right here by me. I've got I've got him on a leash here. 
Um, Teddy has came up and sniffed the calf and now apparently has no interest as far as anything crazy. Um, so I think I think it's gonna be fine. I think it was just a new experience for Teddy. And there that's that's what happens on new experiences, you know. And and that was kind of our fault for we just had no just never even passed our mind that Teddy might just be super protective and and would react to that situation of the birthing process with all the different smells and all the different things going on. Um, so as homesteaders, you know, that's, we got to think about all the animals on our farm that are going to be um, affected by a, a birth or, uh, you know, maybe a, a, a change in uh, feed or a change in where they're uh, grazing or um, just whatever. That can affect much more than just the animal that we're dealing with itself. So. Uh, I, I think that's just a warning for us all, is to take into account all the animals on the place, uh, especially when we're dealing with sheep, uh, cows, dogs, chickens, ducks, geese, just so, such a wide variety. So lesson learned there, and we'll, we'll grow from that, and it looks like, um, come here Teddy, come here. And it looks like, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine and, and, and a happy situation here. Um, and, and yeah, Belle did get a little bit of a, a mark on her ear from Teddy, but overall, no harm done. I, I think everybody's forgiven everybody here. And what a gorgeous little fella this is. We're excited. So, and Belle's just keeping an eye on us here, and she knows exactly how that little calf is doing. So we're good to go.